I think I have to whisk things together. I'm gonna make mayonnaise. Uh huh. Make mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. What the? So what? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh God. Just go to the supermarket like regular people. All right. So today we're gonna make mayonnaise. Did not know mayonnaise was made of these things. I thought mayonnaise just like exists. Well, let's put in the egg. Yeah. <coughs> That's vinegar. Lemon juice. This is what you gave me, so I'm just throwing everything in there and praying for a miracle. Let's see what this is. Is this oil? And I'm just gonna mix it. Mix. This smells awful. But oh, why isn't it? Okay, well, whatever. Does mayonnaise have to set, I wonder? I feel like there should be more ingredients. Should I put, I hope this doesn't embarrass my mom when she sees this. Like, I taught you nothing. Sometimes it's all about just having fun. This is the future. Looks like something that could like suck your eye out. Ooh! Now we're getting the creme de la creme. Come on, come on, baby. This better turn to mayonnaise. Ah! <laughs> uh. This is a mason jar with a little device to cheek, cheek, cheek. Do I press, oh shit. Let's go with this. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't think I'm making mayonnaise right now. Just gonna sit and whip and whip and whip and hope something happens here. Come on, mayonnaise. It's not working. Yeah, this is a problem. Um, I guess that's that then. This officially is a fail. Mayonnaise. It's like the residue of like an alien egg. But I think it's on its way to being right. I don't want to taste that. <laughs> oh God, this gross. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's separating. This didn't go well. I'm leaving. All right, off we go. Let's make some mayonnaise. There's my yolk. Egg yolk. Vinegar. Ha. I'm just gonna whisk in a little bit of this oil. Add a little bit here at a time. I think it's working. Whisk for your life. I feel like I'm at the dentist. Don't let it trick you. Because you will add a bunch of oil in and then it's gonna split and then you're gonna cry yourself to sleep. Creating foam. Please don't break, please don't break. It's getting a little more solid. It's really not going anywhere. That's oil and an egg. Wow, it's really mayonnaise. That's wild. It's mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise. I'm gonna start a mayonnaise line. It's gonna be Niani's homemade mayonnaise. I'd only suggest doing this at home if you really want to impress someone. So to make mayonnaise, we are going to make an emulsion. And this is one of the fundamental culinary skills that you need in the kitchen. The egg yolk is our primary emulsifier here. That means it's the thing that's going to hold the two things that don't like to go together, together. In this case, the two things that don't like each other are oil and vinegar. We have vinegar both in the form of just plain old white vinegar, but we also have lemon juice, which in the kitchen behaves just like vinegar does because they're both acidic. When you're making your mayonnaise, it actually doesn't really matter because they function the same way. I'm gonna use a little bit of lemon juice today. Mix the egg yolk and the vinegar together, and what I'm looking for is this to start to get a little bit foamy, all right? And we're looking for this to be pretty liquidy at this point. The thing that makes mayonnaise thick is the oil content. I'm just gonna start adding the oil in just one or two drops at a time. You wanna keep this moving throughout the entire process. Make sure that it's really, really, really well mixed in before I add any more. So one of the visual indicators to me that I'm making my mayonnaise correctly is that the color is changing, consistently getting a little bit lighter. Agitation is key here because the smaller the bubbles of oil in the mixture, the easier it's going to be for them to hang on to that egg yolk. So if I keep it moving, I really break up the oil in the process. Then I can start increasing the speed in which I add the oil. I'm starting to get little ribbons, meaning that when I pull the whisk back and forth, it kind of leaves streaks behind in it. And that shows me that this is starting to thicken up. No matter what, I'm not stopping whisking during the process. Sometimes my bowl likes to get away from me a little bit. One good trick is to just take a kitchen towel 
and just place it under the bowl and this is gonna prevent the sliding. You can see my bowl isn't moving around as much anymore. I'm doing this by hand because I think it's important to see the demonstration of the process, but any tool that agitates quickly, like a blender, a whisk, a mixer, are actually really great for making mayonnaise. However, it is possible to overmix the mayonnaise early on and cause it to separate. So you just wanna be careful that you're still adding that oil nice and slowly, regardless of what tool you're using. Now we can see this is really coming together. In fact, it kind of can almost stand up on its own. So we're gonna keep going until it's no longer dripping off the whisk. That's about what we're looking for. It doesn't drip away from the whisk. So the last thing that you would wanna do is just adjust your seasoning. Make sure that um, you add a little bit of salt if you want to. The process here really requires a lot of patience. If you are finding that you're having a problem where you're ending up with a thin mixture where the oil and the vinegar are separating away from each other, you're probably just rushing it. Really go slowly with adding that oil in and you'll be guaranteed much more likely success. That is our homemade mayonnaise. Mayo. My mayonnaise. Yay. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Egg oil soup. Egg mess. It's not mayo. It's mayo juice. <laughs> There's mayonnaise in there. <laughs> you gotta find it. I'm like a genius in the kitchen.